Hello party people, I went to Costco today, I filmed a shop with me, saw a ton of Christmas stuff, didn't buy a single Christmas item? Is that the truth? I think so. But I was very tempted to. I did however buy a lot of grocery. Oh my gosh, speaking of groceries, I meal planned. Kind of? Would you consider sitting out in the Costco parking lot in my car, scrolling through Pinterest, taking screenshots of what meals are supposed to look like meal planning without even looking at the recipe. <laughs> I figured, I know what's inside there. I'll just take a screenshot, it'll be great. Let me grab my phone because um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I have pictures. Okay, meals of the week will include, but are not limited to keto pepper steak, low carb beef stir fry. I'm not gonna make any of that. Uh, <laughs> My family and I went to a Chinese restaurant and um, one of my favorite things at like an all-you-can-eat buffet is their pepper chicken. So I just took this screenshot because it was close enough. So I plan on making pepper chicken. I've never made it before. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to try my best. I knew I needed some bell peppers. Okay, and then I plan on making paleo lemon garlic chicken zucchini skillet. Is that even a title or a sentence? Whole30 Harvest Sheet Pan Dinner. I feel like I've made this before. It's delicious, it's a staple. Sheet pan meals are the best. Mini meatloaf sheet pan dinner. I'm all about those mini meatloafs. Healthy stir fry, beef and broccoli, Whole30 gluten-free, soy-free. I type in, when I search for like quick, easy recipes when I'm in a rush, I type in Whole30 recipes because many of them are gluten-free and dairy-free, which is what uh, we are trying to avoid because of my kids' allergies. And then Greek chicken. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, shoot. It's okay. We'll make it work. I have lemon. I've got some olives. It'll be great. Ooh, Whole30 Shepherd's Pie. Dang, do I love Shepherd's Pie. I have actually think I've made this with you in a What's For Dinner video. Oh, full chef's kiss. It's so good. Oh, and then that's it. Plus, I have, you know, have the staples meals that I put together. Oh, so, oh my gosh. One of my favorite things Costco had. Can't wait to share it with you. Let me share the haul. So this is one side of my counter. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's more over here on this side. I opened the van to unload and Alex said, oh, I was expecting double this much. <laughs> of course I got, let me first highlight this, one of my favorite things, like top favorite, top five favorite products at Costco, maybe top 10. This would be in it. I uh, couldn't control myself. I bought two bags. It was a mistake, I already know. I already cracked into one of them because I have zero self-control, but it was not on the way home. On the way home, on the way home, I had some raspberries. Oh my gosh, I tried to be healthy. Uh, is it still healthy if it's unwashed and full of pesticides? I say yes, you might say no, but that's why you don't eat them on the way home, and I do. All right, we're gonna start off, you know this is my favorite section, fruits and veggies. I got a couple of bundles of bananas, even though we have a few back there that are looking kind of sad, that's life. Eleanor, not Eleanor, what's her name? Meredith actually already cracked into one of these, and so did Alex, these naked juices. I grabbed a couple packages of these this time because the kids just devour them. I almost got some at Publix when I was there last, but gosh, it's expensive. Costco has a great deal on these. Okay, we'll get there. Some green grapes. I got a load of green grapes. I don't know when grape season is, but these are nice and crunchy. I got two bags of green beans. I always love cooking these up in my oven. You know what? I also like cooking them in my microwave, and some of you asked how I do it. Dude, I don't know. I cook it in the bag. I just throw it in for like eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes, until they're done, and then I just chop them up with some scissors. It's the easiest. My favorite way is in the oven, 411 degrees for about 20 minutes, and they are delicious. All, everyone loves them that way. I also grabbed some apples. They had uh, some apples that I've never heard of before. They're called like juicy, what? These, however, are, oh my gosh, organic. Hi, nice to meet you. I am that person, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think they're gala apples. I don't know, I just like that they were smaller than the other ones and they looked nice and crunchy. I grabbed a pineapple the other day. This guy's looking kind of sad, but the most sad pineapples are the best, the sweetest, most ready to eat because we don't want to like eat a hard pineapple, you know? I grabbed some sweet potatoes. Everyone loves a good sweet potato. I am out of my entire bag of onions, so I needed more. I grabbed some more. You guys know my eternal love for a good onion. I think they have two bags, two size bags. 
I grabbed this bag. I couldn't find the bigger one. I know they have like a massive size one. Okay, and then I grabbed, oh my goodness, it's a little heavy. I grabbed some, uh, what are these, bell peppers? Oh, my strong hand. Orange, red, yellow, they're good. They're good for all the seasons. A girl for all the seasons. Everything for, come on, are you kidding me? All right, forget about it. I got some lemons. I need lemon juice for multiple recipes. And you know why? I think it's because it's full of flavor. Is anyone allergic to lemons? Oh my gosh, if you're allergic to citrus, I bet you a ton of people are allergic to lemons. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Is anyone allergic to onions? Oh, I don't know how I'd live my life that way. Garlic, you guys know I go through this by the pound, by the truckload even. Basically every dinner I make has garlic and onions in it. I don't know, it's a problem. I'm gonna try to find some recipes without because I know some of you need ideas too, you know? It's just so, it's just full of flavor. Onions, lemon, garlic, what more do you need? Seriously. What are these, potatoes? I grabbed some potatoes. Baby potatoes are always great. Oh, some cucumbers. You know what my kids have been loving lately? And everyone who's come over who's had it, I just cut up cucumbers, put feta cheese on it, and then Olive Garden Italian dressing. Oh my gosh, it is a hit every single time. All the kids like it, all the adults like it. My cucumbers and feta cheese bring all the boys to the yard is all I'm saying. Raspberries we covered, blackberries, because Avelina likes when I spend $20 on a package of fruit that she only eats half of. Oh, here's the highlight of the haul. Cranberry and jalapeno chicken meatballs. You guys know these are my absolute favorite. They are seasonal, so Costco only sells them during like the holiday season. The holiday season. They're pork free, they're gluten free, which I did not double check until just this very moment. Also, if they had gluten, I wouldn't care because I would eat them by my dang self. <laughs> uh, I love them so much, I got two packages of them. I should have got four. Whoa, it's been so long, it's been too long is all I'm saying. Man, this stuff is so good. It's, I don't know, it, it is a pretty penny. Oh my gosh, a story about this. Are you ready for it? Ready or not, here we go anyway. So I was checking out and there was a couple behind me and obviously I was eavesdropping because what the heck else am I gonna do when I'm standing in line waiting for them to ring up my <laughs> groceries? So the gentleman was saying, oh, don't you like looking at other people's groceries on the belt and think, oh, where'd they find that, you know? And she was like, yes, I was just thinking that. So I chimed in on the conversation and said, oh, well, what were you looking at? <laughs> you know, like, I'll tell you where I got it. And she goes, oh, those chicken meatballs. I said, no joke, top five of my favorite items at Costco include these chicken jalapeno meatballs. It might even be top three. You know, I should sit down and make a list. Anyway, I told her where I got them. They're in the refrigerator section, like where all the meats are. They got sausage. They, you know, they have an aisle of cheese and then they have an aisle of meat. Now I know most Costco's are different, but whatever. They're there in the refrigerated section. You go ahead and grab you some. Oh my gosh, you won't regret it. Unless you do regret it, in which case, sorry. Don't ask for $14, I don't know if I'll ever send it to you. Money back, not guaranteed, okay? And then I grabbed some forest ham. This is a great deal, so it is $9.15 a pound. It's almost two pounds, 1.73 pounds in there for less than $10 crazy and it's really great quality ham. Uh, I like to roll this up and put it in the kids lunches. It's just a quick easy like gluten free dairy free option. It's also mind numbingly easy when I'm like oh, I don't know what to pack for you for lunch. This is what I throw in there. Okay here are the naked juices that I was talking about and I feel like last time I was at Costco maybe a month ago they were didn't they didn't have these. So it's in and out. I don't know who the heck knows what Costco carries and when they carry it. Oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, do you know what they had? Oh, do you know what they had? So sad that I couldn't buy them because obviously they have dairy and gluten and all that deliciousness. The cinnamon rolls, Annie's cinnamon rolls, the best store-bought cinnamon rolls you'll ever buy. They have them at Costco only during the holiday season. So if you're in the market, buy some. Wait for a sale too because they often go on sale. It's like $10 for three rolls. It's incredible. I mean, I feel like that's the sale price. I don't know. I shared with it. I shared it in my shop with me. So just, you know, go check that out. 12 pack of this naked juice and that's the price up here in the corner. Olive Garden Italian dressing. I'm running out of mine and I really like marinating chicken in this. It's just a super simple, easy chicken marinade. I'll actually 
thought out some chicken, but then I bought the rotisserie chicken. So I'm probably going to set some chicken. How many times can I say chicken in like a matter of 30 seconds? So I'm going to set the chicken that I thought out in a bag and let it marinate and I'll probably eat it, uh, who knows, tonight or tomorrow night or something, but this is just a quick easy marinade. And then I throw it on the GFG. If you have a real grill, you can do that. It's probably even more delicious that way. Okay. Oh, also this is great on salads. I mean, this is my favorite dressing. Top five products I get from Costco for sure. Okay. Sweet potato crackers. Ooh, this is high on my list as well. This is a new item new favorite. Okay. I've only got it once. I had these at a friend's house and I said, what the heck are these? And where did you get them? She told me and I snagged them up next time I went. They are so good. Wentworth loves them. I pack them in the kids' lunches. They're gluten-free, which is fantastic. And for Wentworth and myself, I take this cheese and cut it into really small squares. These are like squared. Oh, <gasps> did I buy the right cheese? Oh my gosh. Now I'm second guessing my life. I'm pretty... Sure, I didn't. Oh, great. I don't know. They look like slices in there. Yeah. I just make, uh, you know, little pieces of squares and I pop it on the cracker. Oh, it's such a nice little treat. I'll probably have that as soon as I'm done filming. Okay. I found these plant-based organic nudies, spaghetti style. Never had these before. It's a miracle nudie and five calories per serving. Wow, that is crazy. What is it made of? Air, five calories per serving. Um, I just, it's microwavable. I'm pretty sure they come in pouches like this. So I just figured it's just, you know, a quick easy thing for Avelina to throw in the microwave, maybe throw some spaghetti sauce over it and call it a snack. You know, I don't know. Oh, this is the treat that I bought myself. I treated myself well, okay? It's like, whatever, you only live once. YOLO, praline pecans. I feel like last time I shared these in a shop with me, I was like, you guys, just buy some pecans and then roast them in your oven. Who wants to spend time doing that? Especially when you don't have time to do it. Or if you just don't want to. I just plain don't want to, so I'm not going to do it and you can't make me praline pecans. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Sugar and protein. Wait, is the pecan protein? Probably not. Fiber, maybe. Uh, it's good stuff in the pecans. This is another treat, but also for the kids, they love these as well. And I like to throw them in to lunches. It's like a better for you treat. It's oatmeal, dark chocolate, a heavenly hunk of chunk, if you will. So delicious, so nutritious compared to a cookie. <laughs> is it though? We should check it out. Check, 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 check it out. Oh, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fibes in there. All right, it's better than nothing, I'm gonna say. It's still a treat, so, you know. Do with that information what you will. I got some peanut butter protein powder. This stuff, I almost didn't buy because I wasn't sure if we were out of it. I grabbed it anyway, because I figured, you know what, the kids go ham on this, or the, it's like fat, feast or famine. So I just bought some, and I know that they're going to eat it. They like to mix it in with milk, and you can throw it in smoothies, whatever you want, but that's how they drink it, just with cold milk. Oh, okay, hold on, we'll get there. Uh, oh my gosh, I passed up these chicken and apple sausage. This is what I'm gonna make the sheet pan meal with. Love these chicken and apple sausages. They are, they taste like Thanksgiving to me. I don't know how else to explain it. What are the, like, notes in here? If I had to guess, it's like fennel and sage and deliciousness, garlic maybe, but not heavy garlic delicious garlic, just enough. Maybe no garlic at all, <laughs> I don't know, it's so good. I would recommend, top 10 favorite Costco find for sure. This is something that I absolutely love. And it's expensive everywhere else. You get three packs in here, wow! My phone just fell in the sink. You get three packs. At the store, I think you only get four in a pack. I could be wrong, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, you get five, 10, 15 for that price, yes, I know. Okay, we got cheese, we already talked about this cheese. I got tape, yes. Uh, let's take bets on how long it's gonna take my kids to go through this tape before I need to wrap Christmas presents. Oh my gosh, have you guys started Christmas shopping? Because I have not, not even thought about it. I mean, I, I thought about doing it <laughs> because I know I need to early, as should everyone because of you know shipping issues and stuff, but I haven't even started making lists. It's not even on my mind and it's a problem. Ra oh, that's a lie! 
It's a lot. Well, no, yeah, that's the truth. I did buy a gift for Meredith, but it's for her birthday, which is hard because all of our kids' birthdays are around the holiday season. We call it, I call it birthday season. Jesus's birthday, Meredith, Eleanor, Wentworth, and Avelina all between November 14th and December 27th. So it's a fun time of year. Also very stressful. Also, what day is it? I grabbed some granola bars. I, we, you know what? I haven't bought these in months, months. Do you know why? Most of my kids can't eat them. <laughs> but we have kids over and stuff and they're starting to eat, you know, the expensive non-dairy, non-gluten bars that I buy. And I'm like, okay, this has got to end. I cannot, this is too much. So I bought these for all the other rascals that come over, I'll feed them that. Uh, eggs, a couple things of eggs right here. Okay, and then I grabbed these for Avelina's lunches. She loves these, the other kids don't. They are a little spicy, but they're just like a beef stick, like a Slim Jim. My AOL name, does anyone remember what it is? It was Slim Kim 51. Slap in, snap into it? Is it snap into or slap into? I don't know. Snap into a Slim Kim. Coconut milk, six cans. This one was on sale, so I picked some up. I always need some coconut milk for all the curries that I make and such. Especially now that we're uh, dairy free, I use coconut milk a ton. Oh, and then I found this, obviously not for the kids, mostly just for Alex and I. It's cauliflower crust pizza, so it does have cheese on it, but also has a little bit of vegetable on it. Did any of you buy those like $1, well I bet now they're mm, probably $2, like the Tostina pizzas? Did they used to be less than a dollar? I feel like they used to be like three for a dollar. Anyway, did you ever buy those and then come home and like put your own toppings on it before you cooked it? I always loaded mine up with way more. I feel like it never had enough toppings. Okay, moving over here, I got, this is uh, from Publix, by the way. Did I say it went to Publix and Costco? I don't think so. Most of this is Costco. This is uh, Publix. Okay, rice stream, some almond milk back here. Broccoli for the stir fry, green bell peppers for the pepper chicken, some zucchini for, I don't know, the zucchini chicken dish. Who the heck remembers? I don't. Oh, I forgot I had these until I took them out of the bag. This was my plan. I was like, okay, I'll eat these on the way home because I was so hungry. I ended up eating, well, I said I'll eat these when I get home, and then I ended up eating those instead. It was not a mistake. Okay, zero regrets. I also got this gluten-free bread from Costco. This was a great price, even though it doesn't seem like it. Uh, $7.50 for two loaves of gluten-free bread is pretty dang sweet. Uh, matchstick carrots for the stir fry. I grabbed these gloves and they're all in different sizes. So I got a large for Avelina. A large is, oh, 10 to 14. Okay, in my shop with me I said, it was 10 to 11. I got a size medium for Eleanor. Medium is eight to 10. And then I got a little pair for Wentworth, kids four to six. I just thought these were darling. My kids always ask for gloves every year and they were a decent price. I wanna say they were like seven bucks for each pair. Uh, yeah, I always get my kids gloves and then who the heck knows what happens to them, okay? I hope they don't lose these. Miss Vicky's Spicy Dill Pickle Chips. I mean, I can talk about these to ad nauseum all day long. This tissue paper? How many freaking sheets are in here? 400 sheets? It was like $7.50 or something. I mean, this is like a hunk of chunk of tissue paper. And I've never seen them sell this before, so that is fantastic. Definitely better deal than the DT. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that. I also grabbed some uh, batteries. We're running low on our batteries. So I just figured I would stock up and they were on sale, which is a great time to stock up. I got AAA, I got AA. And nothing else I can say about that other than I've heard that Costco batteries and Duracell batteries are the exact same batteries, just with different packaging. I don't know if that's true, that's just what I've heard. I don't know, you do your own research. But with when the Duracell is on sale, they, it is cheaper than the Costco brand, so I got that. I got Boom Chicka Pop, this is a good dairy-free, gluten-free snack option for the kiddos, and it's sweet and salty. Who doesn't love a good sweet and salty snack? I got this belt for Alex for Christmas, so don't tell him about that, okay? Olive oil, I've been out of olive oil for way too long, so I'm happy to have this back in my life. My skin has been missing it, I'm just kidding. Can't tell the difference when I use it or when I don't. I also grabbed this rotisserie chicken. 
Meredith was helping me put the groceries on the counter and she spilled uh, most of the chicken juice out of here, which I like to make the gravy from. So we'll see how my gravy tastes tonight, okay? Uh, what is this? Baby carrots. I love packing these in the kids' lunches just with ranch or whatever they want. Hummus is a good one lately. I've been e eating a lot of carrots and hummus. I grabbed some, gra oh, hummus. Mean. I forgot to buy hummus. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you don't make an extensive grocery list. I got some ground turkey. There's four packs in here and each pack is a pound and a half which is a perfect size for our family of six uh oftentimes it depends on what we make but leftovers happen and then i grabbed some chicken thighs these are my favorite they're always moist and juicy you can't really overcook a chicken thigh and that's why i like them so much oh my gosh is that it why yes yes that is it <laughs> so i'm throwing my chicken thighs that i had in the fridge that were thawing out from the previous day. And I just threw some of all the leftover Italian dressing that I have. I guess it's not leftover, it's just whatever I had left in the bottle. And it made so much chicken. And in a future video, I'll actually share with you what I do to make it even better. I'm just kidding, I'll actually share it with you right now because who the heck wants to wait? So Italian dressing marinating with the chicken alone is so delicious. Highly encourage you to do that. But if you want to kick it up a notch, you guys know my trick. Fresh herbs, fresh citrus always elevates a dish. You don't even need herbs for this. Just citrus. Lime juice. That's what I throw in there. A bunch of lime juice. And then I use fresh limes if you have it. And what else did I add? Oh, honey. Just gives it that little touch of sweetness. It was so good. Everyone always enjoys it. I throw it on the George Foreman grill and it is full chef's kiss. That night for dinner, the night that I went grocery shopping, it is tradition to have rotisserie chicken because that seems like the easiest thing to do. And I just always usually have rice in the fridge and then I just make some gravy and whatever vegetable I have, which is normally, what do I, what do I normally have? I don't even know what we had that night. Oh, maybe green beans. But I always have broccoli in my freezer. So if all else fails broccoli in the freezer, throw it in the microwave for like 10 minutes, and then you have yourself a healthy side dish. Speaking of healthy, you also have a healthy dinner. It's well-rounded. It's, it's also delicious. Uh, did I already say that? Yes. Speaking of healthy, let's dive into this pineapple. You know what I've been doing lately? Well, let me tell you. I have been cutting pineapple by hand. I love the you know, the spiral one that I got from Am – well, I didn't buy it from Amazon. It's, they sell it on Amazon. I've actually seen it at Home, Home Goods and TJ Maxx recently a lot for a cheaper price. Someone actually sent it to me and I love it. But I find that if my pineapple is thicker, um, I just like to do it by hand. I, I feel like I get more out of it. I get more bang for my buck. I don't waste as much. Um, it does take a little bit more time. I mean, we're talking minutes here. So if you are really pinched for time, I would suggest using that tool. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of the Brian Regan skit that um oh my god i think he's reading the instructions on, on how to cook a pop tart is that right yes so it's a very uh specific step-by-step -step instructions like peel open a package or whatever it is i don't know i don't buy pop tarts otherwise i'd whip it out and read them to you verbatim but it goes something like you know take it out of the package put it into the toaster for i, I don't know one and a half minutes or whatever and um, it says, if you don't have time for that, <laughs> put it in the microwave for three seconds or something ridiculous. And he's like, listen, if you can't budget one minute to pop something in the toaster, you need to reevaluate your life. <laughs> if you only have three seconds to make yourself breakfast in the morning. Oh, man, that skit is so funny. Brian Regan is the funny. If you've never watched any of his comedy routines, he's clean. He's family friendly. I highly suggest just YouTube. Um, what's one of my favorites? Uh, U UPS. Brian Regan UPS skit. Oh, you're going to laugh. Just get ready to laugh. He's so funny. I mean, really, any of his skits are funny, but that's just the one that comes to the top of my head. It's older. OK, so now I'm <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> Oh, man, Eminem. So I now I'm peeling the mango in the same fashion that I peel. Well, not really the same fashion at all. Different fashion, different fruit. Oh, man, hold on. <laughs> I need to gather my thoughts. I'm peeling the mango a different way that I typically peel it because I find 
that my reward is larger. My, what do they call that when you go to gather fruits and vegetables? My sur surplus? That's not it. Hold my on. return? I literally can't think of the word. I get more fruit when I peel it this way. So I just take a paring knife and I peel off the skin. And you know, I don't know if I actually get more or if my mangoes lately have just been larger, which may also be the case. But nonetheless, it has worked out for me and I've been enjoying <laughs> my surplus of mango. My kids enjoy it too. Man, can I tell you something? First of all, why are mangoes so expensive? Okay. Mango. Life's treasure right there. The sweetest fruit. Nothing sweeter than a mango. Oh, wow. That just triggered a memory. Have you guys ever seen that one skit of like, I don't know, it's an interview of some mom and like extended nursing. It's like this nine-year-old and she's talking about breast milk and she's like, I love breast milk. It's sweeter than a mango. <laughs> she's English. That was my awful English accent. You guys, my brain. It's just like a railroad track and I get off at every exit. What am I on to? Carrots now? Oh, <laughs> you might be thinking, Kim. You didn't even buy those carrots in this haul. Wow, you are correct. These carrots are absolutely on their last leg. They're decrepit, they're kind of gross, but also not flimsy. They still have structure, they're still great. So I'm just gonna clean them up. I have, uh, at first I was just gonna rinse them with water because that's normally how I live my life. And then I realized eh, these carrots need a little more TLC, okay? Especially since I don't peel them. I could peel them, but it's just not necessary. I think these are even organic, so <laughs> why waste the skin is all I'm saying. So I have um, a potato brush, I guess. I don't know, it's on the other edge of a peeler. That's from Rachel Ray, by the way. Well, I mean, like she didn't send it to me, but I bought it. The brand is Rachel Wright, okay? So, what was I talking about? Oh, the carrots. Look, they're great. They're in great condition. I'm actually making shepherd's pie tonight for dinner. I'll likely share that on Instagram. I've made it before, like I said previously in this video, but I've made it in a uh, what's for dinner video. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, I share random stuff like that throughout the day all the time. Usually my date nights with Alex, I share on Instagram. I just shared one last night. We just went on a date night. It's no big deal. We went downtown Tampa. It was so nice. We went on the river walk. It was actually a really good time. Uh, Alex and I go on date nights once a month because I can't stomach to pay a babysitter <laughs> twice a month. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Anyway, I'm cutting up the carrots. They look great. I'm cutting them for the shepherd's pie. I know I'm going to need some. And then also more than that, you know, just randomly, if you ever need carrots, they're in your fridge and they keep for quite some time. So uh, freezer, I'm not sure if they would last in the freezer. I'm sure you can pop them in there. Oh, these are my favorite shots when I do meal prep videos or whatever type of video this is, grocery haul and ingredient prep. That the slow mos, I didn't do a lot of those. I realized I didn't buy strawberries. I did buy a bunch of other berries, but by this point in my life, this is like days after I actually went shopping, most of the berries had been eaten. So I didn't, and I don't even rinse my raspberries, if I'm being honest. I feel like when I rinse my raspberries, they just get mushy. I don't like mushy raspberries. If you do, you go ahead and rinse yours. If you have some kind of trick that keeps them from getting mushy, you let me know. Oh, speaking of a trick, okay, N next I'm going to cut up a cucumber. And I've cut up cucumbers before and tried to keep them fresh in a container. And maybe I didn't get to them in time or whatever, but I just felt like they were, I don't know, it didn't work out. So this time around I decided, well, let me put them in a Ziploc bag because years ago after I had Meredith, gosh, can you even believe years ago? It's almost been years, almost Plural. Almost two years. Anyway, so after I had her, you know, we were really lucky that we had friends bring over food and stuff. So one of our friends brought over, I want to say it was cucumbers and carrots that were cut up in a Ziploc bag. And we didn't eat them all that night. So I put them in the fridge and they lasted for days. I can't remember if she had a uh, paper towel in the bag. I honestly can't. I mean, you guys know how the newborn stage is. If you've ever had kids, you know, it's, I mean... I can't remember what I had for breakfast, let alone how she stored the carrots and cucumbers. I bet you maybe it wasn't even cucumbers, but I'm going to try it out this time. I just cut up one cucumber. I'm throwing it in a Ziploc bag. I didn't have any reusable ones available because I use them all the time. 
I threw a paper towel in there to try to soak up any moisture that might come out. But then I realized, well, cucumbers naturally have a lot of water in them. So maybe that will dry them out. You know, I'm just trying things. Okay. If you have a surefire way of how you store your cucumber, let me know. Now that I'm kind of getting my life together with like meal planning, I hope to uh, prep some of this stuff and get it ready for the fridge. I just like to have some good stuff in the fridge waiting for me when I'm like, I need a snack. I mean, most of the time I'll just reach for those Miss Vicky chips, but if I have something healthy, it's a great alternative. <gasps> I got mangoes. Oh, the biggest, fluffiest mangoes you've ever seen in your life. I got them from Publix the other day uh, at Costco. All the mangoes were like, hard as rock so I knew that it would take at least a couple weeks for them to like ripen up and we move in a couple weeks is it a couple weeks sign in a couple maybe move in a couple more I don't know this is a great brush as well look at this all right anyway that's that I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing everything that I'm gonna shove in my hole this week and a half maybe two weeks whatever it may be uh, if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.